a really good tip when you're trying to hatch particular areas is to just create a polyline and then hatch it. I've got my drafting settings set at snap is on and nearest is the option. Let's just check that. So object snap is on, nearest is the current option. What that means is that if I want to shade the garden bed in and around here under what are some DNLs and I want to put, indicate that there's going to be some paving, sorry, not some paving, some mulching in that area, it's just draw polyline and it's very easy to whiz around like I'm doing now. The software does the hard work for me and it's finding the nearest option and I can just whiz along like so and then close and then draw and hatch, pick the polyline that I've just drawn and pick a, I've, pick an, I've picked the triangle option here, then I'll select it and go to tools and draw order and send it to the back. And as soon as that's happened, I'll just erase the polyline. So it was only a temporary thing. So there's our sort of hatched area indicating uh, some mulching of which will be different consistency in that area versus this area through here. So polylines and hatching are very quick and easy way to do it. If you rely on the software finding the hatch boundaries, I think you'll find it much more difficult to do.